This is a Reynolds rap about health. I was wondering how many calories there is in uh, backpedaling. Because uh, that's something you wouldn't do ordinarily, you know, when you're pedaling a bike, you go forward. But on the treadmill, uh, it doesn't matter, really. You just keep, you just keep pumping. And I noticed that Trump is backpedaling. And I wonder if he's doing that for his diet. Maybe they're getting him in shape. After all, you know, Clinton used to eat all those French fries. We always made fun of him. Now, what about Trump? He's got that uh, girth, that extra... He's got that, that extra waistline that uh, you love about... We've had some fat presidents, let's be honest about it. Uh, they usually lose weight while they're in office and their hair turns gray. But the, the fat presidents we had... Teddy Roosevelt would be the worst guy to, to go to a war and sit on a horse... But he was at least he went, you know. <laughs> uh, but he was he was a little overweight, I would say. And who do we have in recent times? Not the Bush family. They're kind of like they got a lot of uh, exercise. And the uh, let's see, Eisenhower. He was a general in the army. He probably has that uh, army r routine. Uh, Truman. He was kind of uh, he was really unattractive in short. But who do we have that was fat? Roosevelt, he had a little, he was a little chubby, but he was in a wheelchair. You know, I mean, you, you don't get a lot of exercise doing that, although he did swim with the upper part of his body. Looked like it was good. Now, you know, we, we haven't had a fat president in a long time. So we got to roast Trump. He's a, he's a cooker. We got to take this guy. But, and believe me, he's getting roasted. Or, <laughs> then it ain't at the friars. <laughs> Uh, we, we have this backpedaling. I love this. Oh, uh, we, we didn't uh, mean we're not letting Muslims in. We're just not letting anybody in from the following countries for a while until we figure it out. And until we find out that the public wants to uh, carry torches and come to the White House and treat us like Dr. Frankenstein. <laughs> well, this is a present that was sewn together with the old bodies from people who are dead. <laughs> Uh, but aren't they all? You know, come on. I, I didn't mean to be a, a, a an anti-Trumper, but he is he is becoming a, a, a parody. You know, I mean, he's, he's definitely good for comedy. The comics love him. And if you watch my show on Sunday, you'll see Stephen. He does a great job. You know who I mean, right? Have you watched the show? Have you heard it? SundayNightLive.com. And you will see Marvin Scott's son, Stephen Scott, does a drop dead impression of Trump. And uh, I hope he doesn't drop dead. <laughs> then, then I'll be blamed. Okay, that's the Reynolds wrap. Oh, yeah, WABC New York or KABC LA. Oh, and you can also get the show by, uh, uh, I think you can get it on your toaster if you really try hard. We're on all media all the time. So who's the king of all media? Howard, up yours. I'm the new king of all media. I'm the emperor of all media. <laughs> it's a Reynolds wrap.